She always does weird stuff. <laughs> Before that, dinner, and we are going to try some pasties. Yes, yeah. pasties. Pasties. <laughs> I just know it's food. Alright, so this is the main reason why we came to Munising, which is to hike Pictured Rocks. And we are taking the 13 mile trail, which is the Mosquito Falls and Chapel Falls via the Chapel Loop. So we wanted to start this hike early in the morning, <laughs> like around 6, but it was raining all night long and this morning, so we didn't start till like 11.30, which is fine, we got to sleep in. But now the benefits of that is the trail is very soft and spongy <laughs> and the weather is cool, so it's really a nice day. So we watched some videos that say it takes, all trail says it takes four hours, yeah. but we do videos so it takes us a lot longer, almost double the time to hike a trail. So we're thinking it's gonna take us somewhere between seven, seven and eight hours. Seven, hopefully, and, hopefully six. Yeah, and we didn't get started till almost lunchtime. So, you know, sometimes things don't go perfect when you're on vacation, you can't help the weather, but at least it's cloudy, it's not very hot, it's 68 yeah. degrees, and we're excited to go check out the pictured rocks. has been completely wooded so far. It is beautiful out here. So pretty. There are <laughs> tall trees and this coverage, ground coverage, like ferns, <laughs> small ferns. It's just so pretty. Yeah, there's plants everywhere. It's gorgeous. So in a little while, we are going to hit the actual lake shore. And uh, then I think we walk about four or five miles along the cliffs and uh, hopefully get some pretty views of the pictured rock cliff. All right, so when you get on the trail, you're gonna walk in what, we've been about three miles and then there's a restroom. And I say restroom because it is just a little squatty potty in the middle of the woods. There it is right there. <laughs> this one used it. <laughs> It was so weird. There were people walking by and, and they were about to walk in front. We had to tell them, no, nope, that was the trail. Yeah, they it were was so weird. They were trying to come like around the trail. I mean, the trail's like right here, right? So they tried to come around this way to and walk this, past the squatty potty the bathroom. while she's using it. She, she shot off that thing <laughs> so I, fast. So it, it's, you know what? If you're, if you're a woman, I don't recommend this. Just go out in the woods. Yeah, anyway, that's it. You have this little L-shaped thing to uh, shield you from the passerby. <laughs> So we are at one of the first high lookout points of Lake Superior on the trail. And this water, I mean, it looks like the water we saw in the Bahamas or in Key West. It is teal blue. blue. It is beautiful. It, Absolutely yeah. beautiful. It does not look like lake water. No, I keep saying, it does, does not look like a lake. <laughs> no, it is gorgeous. Crazy. But this is what it looks like, guys, right here. That's the view. Look at that. That's a cliff.
So if you're coming to Munising or the Upper Peninsula, definitely put this on your bucket list. It is really, really worth it. So far, I would give this trail 10 out of 10. You're gonna wanna come here. You're gonna wanna hike this trail. It is incredible, the views you get. I don't think there's probably gonna be a trail like this anywhere else. I mean, I can't think of anywhere I've been to where you're gonna get this view with this beautiful water jagged rocks that literally go right out into the water. It's just gorgeous. This is one of those views that you have to see to believe. Look at this. This is on top of the rocks and it is like a sandy beach up here. And out on our own with our hope in the clouds And we're starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming, we'll keep running Nothing in our way Got no reason to wait. Let the journey take you where it wants to. We'll continue to find our way through anything we face. We got what it takes. Here we go. This looks like an ocean. Like the waves crashing, the blue water, the sand. This looks just like an ocean. You, you have to come see this for yourself. Do this hike. It's awesome. It's crazy. You can hear that. That's like how waves sound. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what ocean looks like. It's, it's just bizarre. But this is a lake. So if you come do this hike and you want to hang out on Chapel Beach a little bit more, there's a campground, which is actually right back that way. So you can actually camp there and then come out, hang out on the beach all day, and then when you're done, just pack up your stuff, continue up the trail back to the parking lot. I think we have about four miles left on this trail. Is it what do you four? think? I think it's four, maybe five. No, I lost count. I don't know, it's taking us forever because we're doing video. And guys, like, we're gonna put the best stuff we can in here, but if we put every single amazing, awesome looking thing that we saw today, this would video would be long. an hour long. Yeah. It would be an hour long. I mean, this is gorgeous. like, I cannot, overstate this enough this is a must do if you come here or even if you don't have the upper peninsula on your radar between what we saw in marquette and what we've seen here like even the porcupine mountain yeah porcupine mountains the lake of the clouds i mean it's just yeah. gorgeous and watching on video seeing pictures it doesn't quite do it the same justice that it would if you come to the place and see it for yourself because a lot of the beautiful scenery gets left out because it's just too much after a while but this is beautiful but even if you cannot do this 10 slash 13 mile hike and if you're in the area definitely take the little boat tour that goes around the island well not the island but go, goes around the <laughs> it rocks feels like we're on a tropical yeah, island feels like it but goes around the rocks and you can still see the rocks and the main features and that that was pretty good too for what we did yeah that was awesome it was a great way to see everything i don't know how we have never heard of this before we started looking yeah. into the upper peninsula like i don't get it this is incredible seriously come see it for yourself so we're out here on Chapel Beach and there's literally a waterfall from the Mosquito River that dumps out here into Lake Superior. This is crazy. To see a waterfall going into the beach and then it's a, it's a bizarre. All of this is so bizarre. That is not an ocean, that's a lake. Yeah, that's a lake, this is a river. And over here behind me, like right there is actually Chapel Rock and that's like one of the more iconic things you yeah. can see here also. And there's actually a tree that's on top of Chapel Rock and all the roots go to the main, to the cliff over there and that's the only source of water for that tree. Yeah. See, it's a crazy concept. This is one of the coolest things we've done, I think ever. This is awesome, this is epic. 
However, we're gonna walk up to the rock now, see that? And then we're gonna turn and head back because it is getting really late. And now, on our own with our hope in the clouds We're starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming now All right, so this is Chapel Rock. This is one of the more iconic things that you can see when you do this hike. That's right. So that's actually sandstone that's about 500 million years old <laughs> that got eroded and this formation was formed. Now there's a tree on top of Chapel Rock and you can see the roots kind of go on the other side to the to the mainland, I guess. That, that's what it's called, mainland? Yeah. And the roots go to the mainland and that's the only way the tree gets water. So there's the tree from up here and that whole entire tree gets all its water from these roots that come over here and connect to the mainland. That is like crazy. Radhika is like super impressed by this. She has been like going on and on yeah, about it. It has been the most amazing <laughs> thing to me. It is so crazy. I mean, it's crazy because it's just sitting on top of a rock. Like there's nowhere for the roots to go. And that is what is providing life to that whole tree. I mean, it's, it's incredible. This is... Uh, probably the only place in the world you can see this. Yeah. And it's called Chapel Rock. So pretty. <laughs> and, and this is a lake. Again, <laughs> this is a lake, not an ocean. Here we go. All we need is an open road and a chance to see a never-ending world that's beautiful. Here we go. Guess what that is? I want to try. <laughs> Parking lot. This was a long hike, holy cow. The last little bit kind of got brutal, but <laughs> we made it. No, it wasn't that it was brutal. It's just we were out past the time we thought we were, and we almost ran out of light. So we were walking really fast trying to get back, but it was a beautiful hike, completely worth it. Pretty much spent the whole day doing it. Yeah. So definitely a thumbs up for this place. This was a beautiful hike. It Absolutely really gorgeous. beautiful. Only word of <laughs> advice, if you are going to start this hike, start it early in the morning, if you think you're going to make that many stops. Yeah. And it's good to make stops and enjoy the view. We should have got started. Well, yeah. we couldn't because it was pouring it down was rain raining. this morning. It didn't yeah. stop raining until like 10.30. 11, 11, yeah, 10.30, yeah. 11 o'clock. But anyway, Totally worth it. This hike was absolutely beautiful. We could not be happy with our choice to do this today, and we spent all day doing it. Yeah, this is the best thing you can do when you are um, in Munising. So it's the perfect way to see Pitcher Drop. We hope it helps you plan your trip and kind of understand the layout of how to do this hike. Again, we went clockwise from the parking lot, started at Mosquito Falls, worked our way all the way around through the beach, back to yeah. the parking lot. If you do not have time to do the whole thing, maybe you can start from the other side, go counterclockwise and at least look at the Chapel Falls, Chapel Rock and the Chapel Beach. Yeah. And that is a shorter, that's about a four or five, four mile hike. Our trip today doing the whole loop was exactly 12.6 miles. Yeah, so. so it's about 13 miles and we went back and forth. I'm going to count that. And so <laughs> it's 13 miles. After a very long day of hiking, we decided to head back to Munising where we would go have some pasties, which is a local traditional food for the Upper Peninsula, and also go on a sunset cruise. This thing was totally worth the money and absolutely beautiful way to see all the pictured rocks all the way up to Sunset Spray Falls. We're at Maldoon's pasty and first time eating pasty. This is a chicken pasty. It looks more like a pie, but let's, let's try this. It's fun. It's like a chicken pot pie that's like with potatoes stuffed in a pie. It's good. All right, so I am by no means a pasty expert, but these are delicious. What do you think? Oh, these were really good. We <laughs> ate the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, we, we didn't think that we were going to really like it, but these are actually very good. Yeah, it was mostly potatoes, but the ingredients, like you can tell that they make them fresh every day, and these were good. Been too long, leaves are gone, heading for the coastline. Light is it when I'm there, soaking in the sunshine. We walk for miles covered in smiles just for a while Taking the time we press rewind out on the aisles I 
as wide as the sea Feels like a city We walk for miles counting the smiles just for a while Right out on the coastline Ripples on the pavement Birds like kings Spread their wings Needle to the pain